we now prove the power rule. The theorem goes like this. Let n be a rational number. Then the function f of x equals x to the n is differentiable, and its derivative is given by n x to the n minus 1. You bring the exponent down, and the new power is n minus 1. You have to make sure here that f is differentiable at 0, uh, which would require that x to the n minus 1 is defined on an interval containing 0. OK. The proof can be complicated. We're going to look at the proof where n is a positive integer greater than 1. Uh, for n, a negative integer, n equal 1. For n, a rational number, and even n for a real number are all proofs that are either in the exercises or are coming up in our textbook a little bit later. So we'll look at this proof for n a positive integer greater than 1. How can we find the derivative of x to the n? Apply the definition. It's equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 of x plus delta x to the n minus x to the n over delta x. Well, we can use the binomial expansion to write x plus delta x to the nth power in the following way. That's x to the n plus nx to the n minus 1 delta x. The next term, n, n minus 1 over 2, x to the n minus 2 times delta x squared, and so on down to delta x to the n, and then minus x to the n. And we want that limit as delta x goes to 0. Well, we have some fortunate cancellations. The x to the n's cancel. Furthermore, every remaining term has a delta x in it, so we can cancel the delta x's with the 1 in the denominator. And what are we left with? We have the limit as delta x goes to 0 of nx to the n minus 1, and then a lot of terms all containing a delta x. So when delta x goes to 0, they disappear. And our limit is nothing more than nx to the n minus 1, which is the formula we wanted to prove.